Okay, so what's the recommended public or who should take this course? Actually, if you're wondering in general about absorption or stripping, you are in a good match. So, of course, I know what type of people is interested in absorption. Mostly students on the relevant fields, I will say mainly chemical engineering, process engineering, and why not? I know maybe some mechanical engineers which have these operations. They try to understand how to clean gases. And why? Because we are going to see it later on that we have several operations such as washing gases. What, will, what can we do if we have a, let's say a plant which is burning a fuel and you know as a mechanical engineer that this is a stack gas and many times you have the so famous SOX which is sulfur, sulfur oxides and X can stand for two, three and even well, etc. Uh, what you can do with absorption is to take away this sulfur which is very interesting especially if you are being charged or maybe even fine because you are throwing away to the atmosphere some SOX material okay so that's why it's cool also for mechanical engineers okay also engineers not only students if you're already working with absorption or absorbers if you are in a stripper or scrubber or washing gases this will definitely help you to understand the basics beyond or behind gas liquid interaction stack gas engineers as stated before guys you can get away of plenty of material by literally cleaning those materials and process engineers if you're working already in a physical or chemical plant you will see probably that if you have combustion or any other chemical process which works with gas you want to clean that gas and this is done via absorption chemical engineers which just want maybe refresh their mass transfer or and separation process uh, maybe courses they want to remember what's distillation and you know that for distillation you need to understand the, what is a stage multi-stage operation co-current operation counter-current operation and this is done via first understanding the mass transfer principles then diffusion convection and finally absorption and distillation so probably you're wondering how do I get better in distillation well remember you need to start with mass transfer diffusion convection and absorption and maybe if you're a teacher which you uh, maybe you want to increase your knowledge or see how it's going on in other parts of the world I will say this is a very nice course for you you can maybe even uh, compare maybe uh, have even some of your students to see or watch some of my lectures and that will be fine what we want to do here is to learn okay guys so that is my recommended public if you're not part of the recommended public and you're interested please let me know I don't know maybe even a envir environmental engineer maybe a hazard or safety engineer is also interested but if you are maybe I don't know I don't have any kind of idea who might be interested but definitely Tell me if you're not included in this list. I will, I will love if you tell me what other type of fields might be interested in these kind of courses.